Hi, the purpose of this video is to show you how to gain access to the online homework and testing site and to point out a few features of that site. Now I'm going to assume that you've already gained access to the site and if you want instructions on how to do that, that is in a previous video. So once you've registered, you're going to always use the same link, mymathlab.com, unless you're in statistics, and then you will type mystatlab.com, and that will bring you to the My Math Lab site. Now to register, you use these buttons on the bottom right. From now on, you're just going to sign in. Once you go through the registration process, no need to do it again. You're now a user, so you sign in. And now you type in your username and your password and you'll see your classes. Yours might be located in a different spot because I am an instructor, but you should see your class somewhere um, listed similar to this and you're just going to click on the class and it'll take you there. Okay. All right. And now again, mine's going to look a little different because I have instructor resources, um, but yours should look very similar. And now the main things I'm going to point uh, your attention to are the quizzes and tests, and the homework, I'm sorry, homework, quizzes, and tests. We don't do much with the study plan in this class, even though you can use it if you want to play around with it, but um, it's there, but we're not going to do a lot. The grade book, you'll need to access that from time to time. And then you can see here that there are multimedia um, resources. There's a multimedia library, and then there's also a multimedia textbook here and a student solutions manual. I don't know if I have that showing. Okay. Um, but the main thing is you can access the chapter in the book and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a minute. So to do homework you're going to click on homework and now obviously I haven't gotten these dates updated but all your homework assignments will appear here and the due date will be located here. So to get started you just click on a homework assignment. You can click on number one all right, and you can jump around if you want to, and you get started doing your homework. Okay, um, and again, you can jump around and do 15 and all that. Okay, all right. And so while you're in here working, I want to point your attention over here to the right. These features change depending on the problem, but for the most part, um, they'll stay the same. You can click, um, let's go to a problem we haven't worked. You can help, help me solve this. And what they'll do there is um, actually walk you through the exact problem that you're working on. Okay. And now watch, once it's walked me through the problem, I now know the answer, right? It was negative one. When I click OK, it's going to change the problem when I close it. Okay, so now it's given me a totally new problem. All right. And I can hit help me solve this again and go through this problem and it'll keep doing that. If you want a good place to start, start with view an example and it won't solve the problem you're working on but it will walk you through a similar problem. And notice now if I do view an example it does not change the problem. Okay. And now notice I have a red X but now that I type the right answer it tells it changes it to a green check. If you want to access the textbook you can click textbook over here and it will actually access the page in the textbook where that information can be found. Okay, This is the same hard, as the hard copy of the textbook. So these are the pages here. It's going to talk about subtracting real numbers. You can jump around using these arrows and read through the textbook. Okay. If you are struggling or if you think you entered the right answer and it counted it wrong, you can hit Ask My Instructor and it will pop up an email straight to me. It will notice this part. It enters a link to the question. So I will get a link that directs me to the exact question and you can just type me a little note saying help me solve this and I will help you solve this and notice you'll probably see it pop up down here. Um, it sends me an email telling me to help you solve this. Okay, so now it says that Shannon sent Shannon an email and um, for this question. Now if I open it up, there's a link here I can click on and it will bring me to the exact question 
that Shannon was working on. And hopefully we're not going to blow the computer's mind. Okay, brought me right to the question Shannon was working on. All right, so that's under Ask My Instructor. And now if you want to, you can print your homework. This is really handy. All right, you can print the question, you can pr print the whole assignment. This is really handy if you don't have um, internet access all the time. You can print your assignment out, take it, work on it. The problems will not change. Come back in and enter your answers. Speaking of entering your answers, there's a couple of things you need to know. If, for example, you're going to enter a fraction, and I think I saw a fraction. Here's one right here. All right. Um, if you're going to enter a fraction problem, okay, so for example here, it says type an integer or a fraction. So for the special entry, you have to pick the fraction button over here. So notice that there's some special entry. If you need to enter an exponent, you would click on this button and it would give you the exponent key. Okay. For a fraction, I click on the fraction button. And notice it gives me a numerator and a denominator. All right. So my answer in this case is going to be negative 3, 24. And that's how I have to enter a fraction. Whoops, I got it wrong. <laughs> it's 19. All right. So that brings me to another point um, when you get a question wrong. Is the three strikes your out rule? Okay, so we'll notice it gave me a second chance. Once I got it right, it put a green check. But let's do one where it's three strikes you're out. So let's say I put 10. Nope, that's not right. It tells me that. All right, so let's say I guess 8. Nope, that's not right. And let's say finally I guess 1. Nope, that's not right. It's the three strikes you're out rule. And then it will tell you the correct answer and it tells you your, what your answer was. And notice that it puts a red X here. But you do not get the question wrong. As long as you hit similar exercise, you can get a totally new question and try it again. All right. So now if I figure out this problem and type in the correct answer, watch what happens to the red X. It tells me I'm right and the red X goes to a green check. And you can hit the similar exercise button as many times as you like. Your grade on the homework will be directly proportional or will be the grade that you make on the homework. Right now I'm sitting at a 20%. Okay, that would be my grade. So as long as you hit similar exercises, you can try problems um, as many times as you want. And again, it's the three strikes you're out rule, but you can hit similar exercises and supposedly get another at bat. All right, and now notice over here now there's even another feature, animation. Certain problems have an animation that you can walk through to also show you how to work them. So I hope in this video you've learned three things. Number one, how to gain um, access to our homework here on the homework. Quizzes and tests are going to be similar. All right, Qu the quizzes and tests that I assign will be located here at the top of the assignment and underneath will be a variety of practice quizzes and tests. But these are the ones that you need to take for me. And now notice that I give you two attempts. Your grade will be the highest of the two attempts. Again, we talked about a uh, study plan that we don't really use that and feel free to, but I'm not going to assign it. And then grade book. Anything you do will appear in the grade book and you can review it. Grade book is the only place you can review your tests. So once you take a quiz and test, if you want to go in and see what you missed and why you missed it, you'll need to go into grade book. But I'll remind you of that when we take our first test. And again, you will have access to all the textbook as well as a variety of other tools such as multimedia library oh that might just be for me i don't know oh that's a thing but anyway you'll have access to a variety of tools so i hope i hope that you've learned how to get to the homework again mymathlab.com and enter your credentials at the top up here, the main thing you need to do is click on homework to do your homework, click on quizzes and tests to do your quizzes and tests. And then finally, once you're in homework or taking a quiz or test, you may have to use the input bar to the left 
to help you input a fraction or a decimal or those kind of things. All right, we see square roots now, um, those kind of things. And finally, if you're looking for help, there's built-in help right here. You can hit help me solve this. If you want an example, you can go to your textbook or you can send an email directly to me and I will help you at my earliest convenience. I hope that this gets you started doing the online homework and test. If you have questions, please let me know.